G'day folks. Uh, this is the clog frog uh, from Deadly Lures. This is the 10 centimeter one. And uh, here is the 7.5 centimeter, the 7.5. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to optimize this lure um, from factory. Uh, it actually has these weed guards on the hooks. And this is a very substantial hook, by the way. This is a 3X uh, VMC double hook. Um, it's very, very strong. But what we're going to do here is we're going to modify this lure to actually do a couple of things. And I'm going to show you the modifications I make now and then explain it. So, firstly, side cutter on here. Snip this bit off. Okay. And you'll see the split ring there. You want to grab it in the middle where the single wire is. Cut that off and pull these rings off. So, previous versions of this lure, we didn't actually do this. So if you do have one of those, you know, feel free to modify it like this. Okay, so we've done that now. There's this heat shrink over the hook here. So I'm just going to use a little knife and just give that a little bit of a trim. Just go right around the back of it and just pluck it off. Just like that. So what's going to happen now? So that hook hangs. This lure is used on the surface and then as a sinking lure. Um, when it sinks, the hook will actually hang like this. I've actually tested this last season, we caught heaps of bass with this. The hook will actually hang, it's facing backwards so it can ride over rocks and, and weeds and the whole lot. What it actually does is it helps the lure glide, so as it's sinking it maintains that horizontal posture just like a frog would swimming under the water. So that'll kick, kick, kick. Once it comes up on the top, that hook will ride up with it and the legs are kicking and bubbling away like that. Um, what this actually does, it, it reduces fouling on the, on the legs. Um, very minimal um, as far as you know, snag resistance is pretty much the same. Um, the fish, when it, when it does bite, it will hook up. And believe it or not, with the 7.5, I've caught bass that were that big on this lure. So this double hook is strong enough to handle the biggest bass, cod, uh, barra that you can catch, even Saratoga as well. Um, but you know, having two hooks there means when that fish is lip hooked, two hooks in there will hold the fish in a lot better and the double hook actually uh, gives the lure a balance and we have tried lighter hooks on this lure but it will spin and it won't work well the double hook helps with castability, accuracy gives it that tail weighted um, uh, performance when you do cast the lure and is much better you'll notice here the lure is actually bridled this is not actually, it's kind of swaged in between when you fish this lure sometimes the fish will actually bump it off to one side or you know you hit a snag or whatever it's just very easy to just pop it back in like that so it's nice and centered that's what you want this is the clog frog from deadly lures